Are you a potato? Do your teammates refer to you as a spud? Would you like to play better? Would you like to kill more people, capture more objectives, and actually contribute to the game? Then you're in luck, because today's guide is going to show you how to go from spud to stud. My name is Drifter, and it's actually an in-depth episode that we're running without the title, without the tags, and just a little bit differently. But one of the things that I need you to accept before we get started, as a spud, you have to realize that what you're doing just isn't working. Your potato powers aren't panning out. The gameplay you're getting isn't very good. You go going double negative, you're not capturing objectives, so whatever you think you know, I just kind of need you to let go of it and trust me on this, and I'm going to show you how to get better at Black Ops 3 very, very quickly. I've created for you one unique kill streak set that is very easy to use and will help a lot, along with three specialists and three classes to complement the specialists that work well in different modes, TDM and objectives, so let's get started. First things first, let's take a look at your score streaks. We're going to be running this in every mode. We want UAV, Care Package, and Counter UAV. These are all very low streaks. They're very easy to earn, and they complement each other. Sometimes you get lucky in the Care Package, and you'll pull something great. Now we're going to be starting with our Team Deathmatch class and Specialist. The Specialist that you want to use is out Call Sign Outrider, Vision Pulse. This is one of the very first ones that you can unlock. Vision Pulse allows you to see through walls. It is extremely useful. Here is the custom class. I'm going to recommend you copy KN44, first Assault Rifle, but it's a suppressor on it and a quick draw grip. Minimal uh, penalty on the suppressor there. You want to run a black cell because we're going to be using a black cell with every single class of the day. Concussion grenade, flash, whatever you like. Ghost is essential. On top of that we're going to be running six cents, fast hands, and blast suppressor. Blast suppressor is going to keep you silent and that's a big spud mistake is to not have that one and we did need perk one greed to make this class work. As I said before, this class is geared around TDM. You have one of the best TDM special abilities with Vision Pulse. It charges a little bit slower than the other abilities, and no, it's not a weapon that's going to guarantee you kills, but it does allow you to see through walls, which is basically wall hacks, and it pings any enemy that you don't see on the radar and has a tendency to kind of scare them away if they have a brand at all, because people don't like being tagged. The way to play this class and the way to play this specialist is stealthy, patrolling, but somewhat conservative all the same. If you're not moving fast, Ghost isn't going to work, it's not going to keep you off the UAV, and you're going to end up dying a lot. So just kind of stay somewhat mobile, patrol a hot area like I'm doing right now, and rely on Sixth Sense. Sixth Sense will prevent the enemy from sneaking up behind you, which you'll see in a couple of times in this gameplay, and rely on the KN44 at medium range. You don't have a four grip, so it's going to kick a good bit. You do have a suppressor, so your range is somewhat reduced, but you're not going to be on the UAV, and you're not going to be on the radar when you're shooting, so you're not going to attract a whole lot of attention to yourself. The only way people are going to notice you is if they hear you, which they won't hear your boost because you have Blast Suppressor, that's going to be totally silent, if they hear your footsteps. Now, if you're playing in a normal, regular, public TDM game, most people aren't going to pay attention to footsteps, which is totally fine. I love this trick, too. I saw it on Reddit running over the door. You can do nice little things about that, like that. Counter UAV is also extremely important. It just totally throws off enemies. It screws them up so many different ways. They just basically basically can't handle it. You rely on the care package to call in and get a random reward. It can also help you loop your streaks. Sometimes it's kind of dookie and sometimes it is awesome. But again, the idea behind this class is that you don't play very aggressive. In this class, camping isn't going to help you because that's counterintuitive with your ghost, but waiting, you know, you have to camp a little bit for the care package to come in, but holding down a key area, using that to make sure you can see through walls and kill people taking your care package, people get a little bit greedy, and playing patiently will be rewarding. I promise you, promise you, promise you, because the KN44 doesn't take very many shots to kill, you shouldn't expend all of your ammo. There are better guns I could have recommended there. See, look at that right there. That blind eye saved me tremendously. I'll admit the guy behind me wasn't the brightest in the world, but he would have killed me and I'd have had no idea he was there at all if blind eye just hadn't completely saved my bacon in that instance. It is a fantastic noob or potato or low level perk. It's just kind of like, hey, they're coming up behind you. You should turn around right now and spray them and it pretty much works. They also kind of indicates in front of you and stuff, so really, really good in that regard. Fast hands is essential. It allows you to kind of compete in order to uh, come out of sprinting if you get caught off guard. Blast suppressor is good. The goal with this class is not for you to go balls to the wall. You don't even have overcharge, so you can't even do just too aggressive a wall running or anything like that. And without, without stock or without a submachine gun, you're not going to be very good at wall running anyway. What you really want to do is just play old school Call of Duty 
Duty. If you've played older COD games, if you've played Rainbow Six, uh, maybe a little bit less so on Battlefield, if you've ever played a shooter that could be considered tactical, that's how you want to play, and this class will reward you, and you're going to do better. Do keep in mind, I'm going to say this for every single class, you have a black cell for a reason. If at any point the enemy gets a UAV, use your black cell and shoot it down. If they get a counter UAV, use your black cell, shoot it down immediately. Any kind of streak they get in the air or on the ground, you want to shoot it down immediately. One of the most frustrating things that I have with potatoes on my team is not necessarily that they go negative, nobody likes that, but the fact that they don't contribute either to the objective, which we don't have here in TDM, or to shooting down score streaks. Why is it if you're getting killed by the score streaks, you should be shooting them down? Look at that beautiful vision pulse right there. Just got a double kill. Very, very effective. And the streaks are looped. That guy didn't even notice me. That's it's a very effective class. I would highly recommend you use this. And now we're going to be moving on to the th second class. Using the same score streaks, the next class is going to be rushing and for objective game modes. We're going to use ruin and we're going to use gravity spikes. Not overdrive, but gravity spikes. Gravity spikes are very easy to use, it's very easy to get kills with. And for the class, we're going to go with the CUDA. It's an all-around, very well-rounded SMG, very easy to use. We're going to go in ELO instead of the iron sights, quick draw. And we're going to go with an actual foregrip because if you're a potato, you're probably going to have recoil coil control issues. Black Cell, again, to kill any score streak you see. Simtex is easier than a frag. So I'm going to recommend a Simtex and again a concussion grenade just in case you want to stun people. Standard three perks, afterburner, fast hands, and blast suppressor. Blast suppressor and blast hands being, and, and not blast hands, fast hands and blast suppressor being by far the more important of the two. And if you're wondering why I recommend Simtex, that's so that you can do something like this. Simtex is just super duper easy to use and way easier than a frag. So for any objective mode, if you're a potato, I would recommend using a Simtex. This class is designed mostly for hardpoint, but it can also work in capture the flag or even domination. I would highly recommend that you guys generally avoid uplinks or search and destroy, because if you're a potato, you're just not going to do very good in those modes. Those are the most competitive modes in the game, and if you're struggling with the game, you shouldn't be playing the most competitive modes. But why would I recommend a class without flak jacket for an objective-based game mode? That's because you're not going to be playing the objective too hard with this class. You have to accept that you're a potato. You have to accept that you have problems, and you also have to accept the fact that you might not be the best person to hold down the objective. And I know a lot of people are going to hate me for making this recommendation. They're like, I wish my bad teammates would at least play the objective. No, you don't, because if your bad teammates played the objective, they're just going to die a lot on the objective and give the enemy a lot more points and a lot more score streaks. So you have to embrace your spud spudly nature and do something a little bit different. You're actually going to play the objective slayer. You're going to hang around the objectives. You're going to hang around cutoff areas, the common places that the enemies would take to get to the objectives, and you're going to patrol and use this class to play very aggressively. This is a good rushing class. This is the class where you want to do the exact opposite of what we talked about last time. You rush, you sprint, you hip fire, you just kind of go, I mean the CUDA will actually allow you to do medium range shots too. Just go ahead and spam your stuns, try and get lucky, throw it around a corner, do a stun check, spam the simtex, try and get lucky, and charge up those gravity spikes. Those gravity spikes are just about a free kill kill. Anytime you feel like the enemy's close enough around a corner, you just feel like it. If you want to clean out an objective, that's okay. But where you flop over and you actually play the objective is you play the objective when you want to break a hill or knock them off the domination point. When the enemy has control of the hill, you will completely change over and use your slaying powers, not your objective capturing ones, to just kill them. Just kill all of them off the hill, throw your Simtax, throw your stuns, run in with your SMG, spraying and praying, and you'll kill a few of them, most likely. Get a lot of points towards your specialist, maybe even a kill streak or two since we have them so low, and your teammates will move in after you mop up and take over the objective, and once they control the objective, you can go back to patrolling, you can go back to slaying. Now this class is pretty terrible for camping, and you will show up on the radar a good bit, and one of the other things you need to do on this class, even more so than on the TDM class, because in TDM class you had ghosts and this other kind of stuff you could hide, you cannot hide from UAVs with this class. When they call in UAVs, you are on candid camera. When the time comes, you have to use your black cell and you have to use it perfectly. Anytime you hear, enemy UAV inbound, enemy counter UAV inbound, just break out that black cell and start shooting it. Also, in an objective mode, they're much more likely to call in something like a Wraith or a Cerberus. Here, here I am using the black cell right now. Or something like that. 
and you just need to be able to take care of those because nobody on your team might not do it. You know, the so-called good players with their super high KDs are probably more concerned about having high KDs than they are about taking out silly things like Cerberuses or sentry guns or anything. So it's going to kind of fall on you to do it and your team will thank you for it and you will get a lot of points for it as well. Don't forget that your gravity spikes can be used to kill ground-based score streaks and are absolutely fantastic for clearing out hills, especially if you do a wall run and come in at a funny angle. Very, very effective. Streaks the same as last time. Just try and loop them. UAV counter UAV and spam those care packages. Enemies will hate you. I sound like one of those internet advertisements, like 10 things your enemies on Call of Duty hate, or like 10 things, three things doctors can't stand, something like that. But this class works really, really well. If you want to, there's some other things you can do with it. You might could trade out the CUDA for the Razorback or the VMP. The VMP takes a little bit more skill to use. Or if you wanted to trade out a few CUDA attachments, you could pick up Flak Jacket and play the objective a little bit more, depending on how how skilled you're feeling about it. Keep the same kill streaks, and we're going to be moving into the final specialist of the day, which is battery. You want to be using the War Machine because this one is probably the easiest one to get kills with, and it splits up, which is pretty dope. The class you want to use is a light machine gun class. We're going to go with the BRM. It's the simplest one. No burst, no funny mechanics. Optics, reflex works for me. Quick draw and foregrip, no stock, because we're not going to be playing very aggressive with it. Even though we have an LMG, you are still going to be running a black cell because you, Mr. Potato, are going to be shooting down score streaks. Flak jacket is very essential. Fast hands, and then in the last two, we're going to be running blast suppressor and tactical mask. When you combine tactical mask and flak jacket, that means that you cannot be grenaded out of power positions. You eat grenades, you eat stuns, and I did have to run perk three greed to make this work. Just so you guys know, you're pretty much going to be able to tank anything they can throw at you, and you've got a weapon that's very good for both long range and close range, depending on how you aim it, of course. This is another class that's more suited for objective game modes. I feel that this is probably a better class if you want to play objective and hardpoint, or if you want to play an extremely defensive role in something like Domination. If you really want to play CTF or Uplink with it, you probably could, but instead of ball running or flag running, you're going to have to play spawn control, or kind of anchor as the pros would say. So the goal with this class is to play conservative, but not too conservative. You want to portray, it's actually kind of like the ghost class that we had in the very beginning of the game, except you have a much, much longer range of engagement. You have many more anti-score streak options, a lot more wall banging options, and you're just not stealthy. You want to engage your enemies at just about as long of a distance as you can. Kill the snipers, kill the guys with their uh, mana wars and their shivas posted up in buildings. Head glitch in power positions. Light machine guns are god tier for head glitching. It's not a complicated strategy. Anybody knows how to do it. Just take cover, peek your head over, and spray. You've got 75 bullets. You only need three of them to kill it. Deals super high damage, and it shouldn't be that difficult. Some of the cool things about the class that you may not notice is that we do have blast suppressors, so you're not going to be on radar when you're moving around. You still have the option to boost into people and wall run and do things like that. Don't try and hip fire though. That tends not to work very well. Same score streaks, and as long as you're actually playing the objective, either capturing it or killing people off, of it, you're going to get these streaks very, very quickly, and you're going to contribute very significantly to your team. The class does have some weaknesses. You are going to lose a lot of engagements to some machine guns. If you get too close to people, they're just going to outgun you, and that's reality. That's the reality that you're just going to have to deal with. However, as long as you can keep them at medium range or long range, your gun's going to have an advantage over just about anything that they can throw at you. Also, the BRM is not a weapon that many people see. A lot of people see the Dingo or the, the Gorgon, or they see a 48 Dredge, and they kind of know how to deal with it, you will actually legitimately confuse people with the BRM here. So that kind of throws them off a good bit. You're definitely going to be lacking when it comes to grenades and lethal, so you're going to have to make up with it with your primary weapon. You're just going to have to fall in love with this BRM and slay, and I promise you, if you put the work into it, the BRM will reward you. You will be able to get some very nice doubles and triples, especially in, like, objective modes. Bad guys have a tendency to bunch up and rush the objectives all at once, and if you're already in a good spot basically camping I'm, okay I'm basically telling you to camp okay you're gonna help your team if you camp it's gonna work all the other youtubers or whatever or like rushers can get mad and butt hurt about it but it's a strategy and it works and as long as you're camping around the objectives you are contributing to the team and you're not being a potato you're doing something very very good 
Guys, that is all for this video. I just wanted to give a guide. I wanted to help you guys go from spuds to studs, or at least go from spuds to pulling your weight, doing a 1.0 KD, contributing. Oh, almost forgot to talk about the War Machine. War Machine is a pretty boss, if I don't say so myself. It bounces, it splits into three grenades. When you call this thing in, it is time to go aggressive and kill all sorts of people. Love, 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 love that War Machine. But anyway, wanted to help you guys out. Wanted to give you a quick guide. I promise you, if you copy these classes, if you use these specialists and stick with the general strategy, you will improve and you will no longer be potatoes. Guys, that's all for this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Drifter out.